Welcome to Toffee TV. Obviously, yes, the Everton confirmed the signing of Jake O'Brien from Leon for a undisclosed fee, which is around apparently around fifteen million pounds. Sean Dyche denied it means Jared Branthwaite could be sold. He was asked by Sky Sports about it, and uh, the manager said, "Putting two and two together at Everton, no way. You're kidding me. I'm very surprised that people have put two and two together." at Everton. What I would suggest is not it is nothing to do with that. You know, it's just with the modeling and trying to model the club with the finances available. We've made it clear to Branthwaite there was nothing other than that. Uh, just, and he will be staying for the season. But as you said, two and two together and everyone starts speculating. And yeah, that's it, isn't it? Everyone is speculating about must mean Jared Branthwaite's going. All the Manchester United fans are obviously very hopeful they'll they'll get him. But um, they they don't understand Everton. They haven't seen Mason Holgate and Michael Keane, you know, playing. You know, we have. We know we need a new a new centre back um, to add competition to those two starters. So this idea that it means that he is uh, Jared Branthwaite will be leaving is. Is ridiculous. Uh, obviously, Everton were at Coventry last night and were beaten convincingly 3 0. And Sean Dyche is hopeful. Everton's pre season performances will now pick up with key players due back in the side. He said, obviously, the game showed how many players we are missing. Very important players. Um, but he said, credit to Mark Robin and his Mark Robbins and his team. They looked ready on that performance. That's for sure. They are a team that went close last season to getting promotion. And certainly on that performance, you would fancy that for the coming season. Um, that will be, you know, that will be what's happening as well. So he said, I've got too many important players uh, missing. We are hoping that they're going to come back uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, we are betting on players and it's difficult when you are in a fitness period to just do any tactical shape and understanding. So we are trying to manage a lot and get it all right. We know deep down we are there are five or six, seven players who have been very important to us uh, will be and, and will be important again. The Toffees were without the recent signings of Jesper Lindstrom, Jake O'Brien and obviously goalkeeper Jordan Pickford at the Coventry Building Society Arena. Uh, while a long list of injury absentees, absentees remained out, including James Tarkowski, Jared Branthwaite, Vitaly Michalenko, which is Sagana Gay, and Nathan Patterson, along with Yusuf Schmitty, who uh, Sean Dyche confirmed, um, were waiting for results on a foot injury. And Everton have released some... Uh, pictures of the stadium on their Everton Stadium Twitter account. Um, photos have emerged of the new dressing room for the home team, uh, which looks absolutely spectacular. You can see, obviously, the Everton badge on the ceiling there. And obviously, listen, if that's the badge that's on the ceiling, that must be the badge they're going with. Obviously, the away kit was launched yesterday, and we saw um, the slim down tower on that. But obviously... This is the club badge, and I imagine will be the club badge for the future, even though they might start using that slim down badges on the home kit, but we'll have to wait and see. And also an image of the new South Stand bar, and that bar is supposed to have run all the way along the South Stand and be one continuous bar. And obviously on that image there, you can see the tail end of it. So good to see the workers ongoing. I mean, listen... The stadium's finished, isn't it? Really, when you look at the stadium from the outside, the, st the stadium is is a is a completed stadium. It is all ready. It is all there. To, it is all there. Um, obviously, they're digging out the water channel at the moment, but the stadium as such is done. They're doing the they're doing the pitch at the moment as well. There's a uh, black cloth being laid on the pitch to cover the sand and the works under the stand. But it is a it's a complete stadium on the on the outside. So fantastic to see the progress ongoing, and you know it's getting closer. Bit by bit, bit by bit. I got my season ticket this morning. It's just getting a little bit closer, isn't it? To all those emotional days at Goodison Park. There you go. That is the news for today. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, join us over on Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description and the QR code's coming on the screen now. See you later.